Well, we'll bring it back to the mainland because over at the Sun Bowl, the UTEP Miners were trying to get their season back on track as they played host to the Rebels out of UNLV. Miners on a two game losing skid, one and three on the season, entering the day in the first quarter right here. Disaster for UTEP as the punt gets blocked. The Rebels get the ball here. Good field position on the 12 yard line and they would need just the one play to cash in. Jaden Thomas runs it in from 12 yards out. And just like that, the Rebels up 7-0. Miners go 80 yards on 10 plays, capped off with the Gavin Hardison one-yard quarterback sneak right there. Ties up the game at 7, but they would constantly find themselves having to claw back. Down 14-7 right here. Hardison gets sacked on back-to-back -back plays, which forces the punt, but they get the ball back off of roughing the punter penalty. So UTEP able to capitalize on that as they once again go to Hardison for a quarterback sneak. They tie it up at 14. Then UNLV's Donovan Lester going to extend the lead back to seven as he'll take it on in. And then Hardison, another costly mistake right here by the Miners as he's going to get picked off. And UNLV will once again capitalize on that turnover here as they're going to hand it off to Thomas and he'll go right on in for another touchdown. UNLV was up 28 to 14 at the half. Then in the third quarter, Miners fighting back here. The handoff to Torrance Burgess Jr. And he'll take it on in from 11 yards out. UNLV's lead cut to seven, but the Rebels always had an answer in the fourth quarter. From the one right here, Thomas picks up another touchdown that lead back to 14. UTEP offense doing their job to try to keep pace. Hardison to Jeremiah Ballard in the end zone. Miners again cut the lead to seven. It's 35 to 28, but UTEP's defense needed to hold and they could not. Hand off to Courtney Reese and no one going to bring him down. 32 yards for the house call. UNLV goes up 42 to 28. Time was winding down in this game. UNLV was about to strike here. We'll send it over to ABC7's Rachel Phillips. She's live from the Sun Bowl. Rachel, how's everything looking right now? Well, Adrian, over 28,000 people came out to the game tonight. But if you take a look at the seats behind me, you can see it is very much emptied out. That is because the Miners right now trail 45 to 28 with about less than a minute on the clock right here. And look, both of these teams came in without a lot of their stars. For UNLV, that was quarterback Doug Brungfield. He didn't suit up. For the Miners, that was star wide receiver Tyreen Smith. And Dion Hankins, their running back, or he saw very limited action, just the three plays. But if you take a look at this video here on your screen you'll see that it really for the miners wasn't because they didn't have their stars it was because they couldn't capitalize on errors and UNLV well they could the Miners had both a blocked punt and an interception on Gavin Hardison in the first half, and UNLV grabbed touchdowns off the back of both of those errors. While the Miners D, and specifically Praise Amalehi, grabbed an interception in the third quarter while the Miners were down by just one score. And UTEP, what did they do off the back of it? Well, they go three and out, and then UNLV, they go and score off the back of it. That one really just a crucial point in this game because if UTEP could have gone and scored at the end of it instead of going three and out, that would have tied the game up instead it was a 14 point turnaround UNLV go up and the miners have just not been able to get back in it UTEP it looks like with 13 seconds left in the game right now down 45 to 28 will lose this one that means it'll be their third straight loss for the miners well now they have to prepare for a Friday game against a two and three La Tech team a lot of issues here in this UTEP team specifically scoring on offense and capitalizing on those errors that they're forcing and we'll have to see how it all plays out but Adrian for now back to you Thank you very much, Rachel. She will, of course, Rachel will have post-game reaction tomorrow on Good Morning El Paso Weekend, but for now, Miners is going to drop to 1-4 and four on their season. Well, from the gridiron to the pitch, the El Paso Locomotive FC were also back in front of their home crowd tonight. They welcomed the Phoenix Rising to Southwest University.